I really yeah. feel that I have to figure out more about the country stars that live here. And I think you know secrets. I think you know a lot of stuff that you're not telling us about Nashville. So Uh-oh. I'm creating this little game where you have you're to tell get us. You're going to get me in trouble. Of you're course, gonna... <laughs> I get everybody in trouble. That's what I do. I am trouble, right? <laughs> created this little game called Nash Spill, where you're going to spill and tell us how these people Nash really are <laughs> okay, okay. behind the oh scenes. Oh, my God. Okay, I really want to know how these people are, what you've heard about them. Because you know okay. what? Trace Atkins definitely was going to tell me a little something, and then we got distracted. But I think you know where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> all right, first up. I like this guy, Blake Shelton. What can you tell me about Blake Shelton? Oh, my gosh. What's the Nashville tea? Blake, you know, okay, I played the, the Grand Ole Opry one night. And I'm, this is the truth now about Blake Shelton. I wish I had some dirt, but I walked up on the microphone to sing a song. It was some benefit show I was doing, and Blake was the host. And he, he got up there, and he requested a song that I had written in this— I was in this band called Boy Howdy back in the 80s, way back in the 80s with a mullet and— the whole bit. And he, he introduced me and then he come, came over to me. He said, he goes, play that Boy Howdy song. He knew all the words to it. He knew every single word to my, like, I was like, nobody knows this song. Blake's one of those guys. Uh, he has done his homework on everything and his influences, um, he wears them on his sleeve. And he's one of these guys, they're very hard to find in country music right, right now where they, they know all the history of country music. A lot mm. of guys now, they don't know any of the history of country music. He seems like a solid guy. He's a solid, He's a solid guy. guy. Um, uh, so I, I have no... I have Nothing no, bad. Okay, no, that's, but that is, that's at least a good spill. We know he's a solid guy. Okay, number two, Trace Adkins, <laughs> who has a voice like I've never heard before. We should oh, bottle Trace that Adkins. voice and sell it, I think. I've never, I've yes. never heard a bass hit that. It's an instrument, his voice. It's unbelievable. Yeah, what can you tell us about working with Trace Adkins? Trace is funny. Okay, he wrote a song called Badonka Donk Donk. Honky so Tonk Badonka Donk. Gotta be something honky tonk Badonka Donk, Trace Adkins. Well, he, 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 um, he recorded a song of mine called Chrome years ago, and, and the chorus is... Uh, uh, forget pink and purple paisleys, little mellow yellow daisies. And he called me up and he's like, still, you know, that low voice. Goes, I'm not singing about paisleys and yellow flowers in my music. <laughs> I said, it's going to be number one song. He goes, I'm not doing it. Did he do it? <laughs> he did it. He did it. And it was number one song. There you go. So there you go. He didn't want to sing about Pete. That's actually very on brand for him. Good guy behind the scenes. Yeah. He's, oh, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. There, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I, there's, I got a couple stories, but I, 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 you know, I can only tell them backstage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about John Rich? John Rich. John Rich. Okay. John Rich. Uh, me and John, you know, me and John go back to the early 90s. He was a big fan of my band. And I played this show in Reno one time, and the sound man somehow got sick. And John Rich from his band, he was in a band called Lone Star, and he had to uh, mix the sound. And so he mixed the sound that night, and then, and then uh, we became fast friends. And over the years, John, um, I, 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 there's nothing. What am I going to say about John? Well, this you, is why everybody likes you, because well, you have nothing bad to but, say but, about but, anybody. But, 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 John, but John gets a lot of rocks thrown at him. Yeah. So, so maybe I'm the defender. Yeah. I've seen John in so many situations where he's, uh, his heart has just poured out of his chest. And he's, he's uh, I remember we went into a restaurant one night, and there was this one guy, he was so drunk. And he was trying to get to his car and get in his car and drive home. And John literally got up from the table, walked over to the guy and talked to him for like 10 minutes. And then he uh, got him a car and drove him home and had somebody take his car home. Oh, you just made his and, reputation even better. I know. And, yeah. and, you know, and then, and then like uh, two years after that, and I, I hung out with John a lot back in the day. And um, after my, my boy died, um, I was like in this really, really bad, 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 bad place. And my life was just going through a whirlwind and he pulled me out of my despair and he was he was about to um, um be a judge on nashville star on nbc and he goes you got to do this show with me i'm not doing it i'm not doing a tv show man i'm not in no sh-. he goes you're going to do this show with me and it's going to be great mm. so he he like kind of got you back on the horse drug me into it and it and and it was a really good thing for me it kind of took my mind off stuff for off a while. Off tragedy. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and he's always been that guy to me. And he introduced me to you. So. Yeah, he's a solid guy. I do like him. We'll be right back to the show in a moment. But first, I need to talk to you about where you are buying your meat. As we all know, misinformation is everywhere in our culture. But what most of us are unaware of is that misinformation has invaded the grocery store. Did you know that meat labeled product of USA is more often from overseas than from US farms and ranches? 
That's why Good Ranchers was founded. They sell 100% American meats. They connect you to local American farms so you can know what you're buying and trust what you are eating. With Good Ranchers, you can cut through the noise and misinformation to take back control of what you buy. Don't bring mystery meat into your home. Have the confidence you want in every bite of chicken, seafood, and steak by ordering Good Ranchers today at half the price of those other online meat companies. You can get the steakhouse quality that you deserve at a price that everybody can afford. Go to GoodRanchers.com and save on each box of 100% American delicious meats. Right now, get $20 off and free express shipping if you go to GoodRanchers.com slash Candice or use code Candice at checkout. That's $20 off and free express shipping at GoodRanchers.com slash Candice or code Candice at checkout. There's no way you don't have dirt on this next one. Ready? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift! So let me tell you, Trace Atkins definitely oh had a God, story Taylor. about Taylor Swift. This is the craziest story. So uh, Scott Marchetta, who runs the record label at the time that she's on, um, he, he, he calls me up and he says, uh, hey, Jeff, I need you to help me out. I got this girl. She's only 12. And, um, but I want you to write with her. She's really good. And at that time... At that time in my career, and it's, I'm just saying, it was a lot. It was just madness, right? Just madness. And everybody was coming. I was writing with everybody. I was getting, you know, the, you get pulled to shreds and you're getting, you know, spread really thin. And he goes, I just, I need you to help me out on this one. Um, she can't write till 3.30 when she gets out of school. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, Scott, I just, I got no time for that right now, man. I can't write I can't write, you know, I can't wait till 3.30 in the afternoon and, and da 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 And, uh, I mean, that's the end of that story. Well, we all know. <laughs> millions of dollars you lost. Millions and billions millions of dollars. Of millions of dollars. The one investment um, you didn't make. Um, wow, but, so you, you basically broke up with Taylor Swift. <laughs> there you go. That's, there you go. That's a good one. I like that. And she opened up for me at this show when she was, about, I think it was 12 years old. Yeah. And I remember seeing her and I'm oh my God, she is really good. Yeah. And, and uh, this could be really great. And, and, and Scott's just looking at me going, you dummy. <laughs> right. okay. Thanks for joining me on this segment of Candace. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. If you want to watch the full show, become a Daily Wire member. Go to dailywire.com slash subscribe. Use code Candace for 25% off your new membership.